Defense, that's tough. And uh, I know that a lot of you out there struggle with defense. So today we're going to learn some golden rules that will improve your games. Uh, we're going to find some, some uh, golden rules on how to think and play when you're defending. Because everybody sometimes has to defend, even though it's not so much fun. So let's get into it. This is an uh, old game from 1999, where I had a good run and was uh, sort of good in defense at the time. I think I've gotten worse. Uh, so maybe I will be inspired as well. Uh, let's jump into it it's 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 by the way interesting that most players are much better at attacking than defending uh, it's so much easier to see your own possibilities than your opponent i know that from uh, marketing as well that uh, most uh, companies that come to to our company they talk about we do and we do and we do and and then you say to them but the, what do the customers want Oh, yeah, uh, that's that's much, much more difficult. Uh, here I'm playing uh, this line that accepts that uh, that we will transpose into a Morosi structure. We have had different kind of games with the Morosi, also with Ben Larsen. It's an interesting opening um, where White gets to put uh, the pawns here and get a very clear... Uh, sort of uh, p space advantage, but also some weak squares and black structure is uh, in the shape of the dragon. So it's very resilient and uh, full of bite. And the positions are very uh, tense, both uh, positionally and strategically and tactically and so on. Um, and I played this line. This is the old line. I've had very good results with this, uh, never lost, uh, but I don't trust it. And this game was a little bit part of it. Uh, he plays the main line and f3, a5 is, is the move. And uh, basically uh, Black's hopes here are that uh, he would like to push the pawn, of course, more, uh, but also to exchange this one for this one and then establish a grip on the black squares and make this guy uh, down here into a bad bishop. And this guy has become a bad bishop in many games in the Morosi. So this is the strategic danger for white, that this bishop will not be bad and it, it will not be good. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a risk that lingers over the position for a very long time. So white really have to play well to play this uh, position. And knight here, very common. It looks strange to want to exchange this uh, this nice bishop for this bishop, but it, it turns out that, uh, that the dark squares means that white will not get an attack against the king, and it will only uh, enhance the problems with the bishop on e2. So it's much more common to uh, move the bishop. By the way, it's sort of a golden rule for the the player with more space to avoid exchanges avoid exchanges i think it was uh, formulated a long time ago uh, by one of the old guys and it's still holds if you have more space you should in general try to keep more pieces on the board try to keep more pieces on the board i'm not gonna say it again okay and this is, uh, of course, nice. And we can see that Black's position is is kind of nice. He has a good, nice bishop here. Uh, uh, and we have a nice bishop here. And he has a nice knight here. And there is a C file that might be something. But he also has a lack of space. And that's, uh, that is uh, also an important feature of the game. Uh, and we have a problem with this uh, square. I'll make it red. Because if... White said put something there. Often it's not a good idea to do it immediately. Then getting rid of it with this one will leave this pawn weak. This is an ongoing feature of the position. Rook here is uh, the main line. The idea for White is to uh, to to take more space. Simply play a3 and b4 at some point after due preparation. Queen b6 looks very, very strange, um, but it's a nice little move that... Um, and, and actually, if he plays uh, a3, you can take on c5. This is uh, b3. This is uh, it's, it's kind of interesting, uh, but it works. 
and and this is the idea behind black's uh, move he's hoping his queen side will be good and then he can get his queen back and then maybe later on ideas like like this is 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 always in the air and so on rook here this is all the main line h5 i'm not sure i like this move anymore uh i think the main line is queen d8 here and that's probably also the best move h5 is a little bit tricky uh, it does weaken the pawn but it's also on the other hand does prepare for for different kind of things uh like for instance this idea with queen coming here and you having this sort of battery down this diagonal this diagonal is very important because white's plan is connected with this and that will open the a file and if black can take over the a file he will usually get enough counterplay we'll see this in the game as well knight here is is typically typically not uh, something white will do at this point often he actually goes uh, here instead and 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 here and 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 maneuver around a little bit i think that's maybe better or also play something like this and and play because he has time black does and that's the problem with black's opening he's he's got this nice position uh, but then what how to uh, how to improve uh, do you have an active plan and black really does not have an active plan uh, and after h5 any plans with f5 makes no sense but okay this move is is, uh, is definitely possible and uh, this is the idea uh, often i've seen this, a guy like peterson have played this move here and then this move uh, here to to defend this pawn here i'm uh, unfortunately forced to to take uh, this but that's not so bad because this bishop was always uh, going to take the knight at some point anyway probably um and here uh, the best move is probably uh, this move uh, and followed by uh, this move and this move uh, that would be nice and we can see that still even though uh, white got this plan in it's still uh, possible that this guy will be very bad uh, all the pawns are on white, and uh, and it does not really have any scope or anything to attack. Instead of this move, uh, kind of cool move. Uh, if 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 he takes here, then this will knight will be strong forever, uh, no matter what. And uh, even though he does have a queen side majority, I'm not such such uh, worried. And uh, black king position is is very very stable and so on. This kind of transformation is known as fine for black. So go getting back, don't exchange, and this is uh, in keeping with the do not exchange when you have more space. Uh, queen here, and here he plays a uh, Lubomir plays a very strong uh, move. By the way, his uh, last name is with when you say it, it's without the F, so it's Tashnik. I know because I played in the same team as him in, uh, in the Bundesliga for more than twenty years, actually twenty four. Whoa, time flies, right? Uh, and I go here, and I'm basically offering a draw. I'm hoping he goes here, and I'll go back, and we can have a draw. Thank you, Lubomir. Uh, I was not very well known back in 1999, uh, and I didn't even have 2500 rating, but I did later. Um, I did have a very good year. Um, and uh, this was the black's uh, plan, uh, and we see this uh, strengthening of the diagonal, and we also see that this looks like it could be something, but it's not doing much. And uh, here you even have to be careful uh, because uh, after this, if you do something like this, then white will will, will get this one, so uh, it will be trapped. So I have to go back. That was not part of the plan. And here and here and i didn't know really what to do so i just said okay i'm gonna try and find some way to play kind of play wise plan is pretty simple he's gonna play uh, a3 and g4 um and 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 g5 and this one gonna run out of squares and then he's gonna put the rooks here and then he's gonna kill my king and it's and where is my counterplay? and this is the first golden rule of uh, defense first of all don't be pushed too far back you have to uh, fight for some squares you have to fight for counterplay uh, finding uh, searching for that counterplay can mean everything in general it's much more important to have counterplay than being solid actually to be honest okay 
B6 uh, was unfortunately necessary, but I'm, I'm getting ready to, to maybe do something on the C file. And I already decided that when he comes with this, I'm not gonna let me, myself be squeezed to, to run out of squares. Uh, so here, after this move, um, is the second rule. Well, it does lose a pawn, but it's, it also gives me squares, and, uh, and that is more important than the pawn. So this one uh, was, was more or less necessary. If I, if I start to, to, to go back, he will squeeze me to death, uh, slowly but securely, and where's my counterplay? So I'm giving a pawn up and trying to at least say, okay, at least I have the black squares, and I hope uh, this bishop will not play a role on the white squares. Um, and uh, now it's time to find some counterplay and we see that why we have uh, done all this stuff uh, is to play this move uh, and suddenly there are some counterplay and I'm hoping uh, before he gets all the rooks over here uh, and so on and, and this, this guy will be in danger that I will get some counterplay over here uh, he could play something like this but but this is a very important move, and white will always, and I'll probably with, with, with this idea and this idea, and, and white will, black will always have some counterplay in these kind of positions. So um, he, he decided to take and uh, going into opposite colored uh, bishops. And we see why, because uh, he got a pawn and he's got an open file and... Uh, and this could be unpleasant. Uh, and still, uh, this this uh, sort of holds. Um, I should probably play something like this at this moment. Uh, that would have been better. He's still uh, better. He will get a pass pawn on the queen side. But I will have some counterplay. And it will not be... Uh, I, I think he plays this move. And uh, and, uh, and after something like, like this... Um, something like this... Black... Is, is still on the roof, but it's why not? It does have a, a bad structure now. Yeah, I do have some some problems with with the C file and so on and so on. But it, it's 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 possible. I'm not dead yet. Instead, I play this move, going for the A file instead. Um, makes sense, but it's maybe a little bit slow. Um, and he goes for the H, D, H file, of course, and I go for the A file, and saying, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna penetrate the position with my. And here he makes an instructive mistake. Uh, he, in his notes, he, he shows that um, that that this move is actually very really good, uh, and followed by by this move, and 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 White is of course uh, having uh, more fun in the attacking situation here than Black. Uh, uh, instead, he played this move. And as I said uh, before, well, uh, one of the, also, I didn't say that, but I'm going to say it now. One of the key things with defending is not losing. <laughs> and that's, that sounds uh, pretty obvious, but it, it is actually important that when you're here, it's clear that if you, if you go something like this, you're going to die. It's not going to, it's going to, it's, it's not going to go in well after something like G6 or something. It's just simply clear that this is, uh, is 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 absolutely losing. You also you also play something like this, or and then threaten to go uh, here and and here, something like that it would also be very unpleasant. So um, it's it's very clear that that you cannot uh, just push. You, so you have to to. So I sacrifice the queen, and 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 the the rationale for this is of course I have a very nice bishop, uh, which is but of course. I'm behind with a with a pawn and now a queen for a rook and a bishop, and that's usually not enough. But here I have some position, positional compensation, and um, and I'm just basically trying to survive. Here he should definitely go for this pawn with with queen f5 and and hoping to get this one in, um, and. I think he still has a decent chance. Instead, he took this pawn, and now he did something he should not have done. He allowed black to get counterplay, and um, and I was uh, and and so far I've been struggling. I knew I was in trouble. I'm trying, just trying not to lose. But now it's starting to look a little bit interesting because I have this. Uh, uh, with with a lot of activity coming, so he has to find something, and he goes with the, with this move, 
which is a nice little move. Um, and he is hoping for this move, and then he would take this guy. Uh, and that would be very unpleasant. And then queen here or something. And, and that looks very good for white. Uh, my king is still in trouble and so on. Uh, but instead I find a very good move. And uh, this is part of the don't lose and keep counterplay. And, and by the way, keep a very cold head when you are defending. Uh, because it's, it's, it's often, as, and we have seen this with computers, you're not in so as big trouble as you think you are. Uh, <laughs> sometimes it's worse, of course. But but so why, uh, what to do here with black to stay in the game? This move, very nice move. Um, getting ready to take this one, getting ready to, to go this way instead, uh, and having uh, this rook still on the open file, where it's not controlled by the king. Uh, so if he takes, then uh, I would probably have a perpetual check or something uh, after Rook here, and and he has to be careful in these situations. So um, and he he decided to to go for uh, for hard stuff, uh, and you can't take that one with the king, which and I, I was shocked when he played this move. But this move is of course uh, the point, which is rather unpleasant for me <laughs> that he has this point so uh, instead um, I play this move say okay this this pawn can go here and but it's not going any further so I, I can take it at some point and he took it and I uh, took here and I'm starting to uh, he's starting to to get very uh, ag uh, active here he gave a check to uh, to get his, his king into the game. I was, I was a little bit lucky here, but that's also part of, of this stay in the game, don't lose stuff, is you simply you see that, okay, that move is losing, so I have to find something else. It's not nice, it's, it's a problem. Here, uh, I'm very lucky that I have uh, this uh, check, uh, if he goes uh, uh, here, like here, and, a, and I think he missed, he simply missed this uh, tactics. Um, which go with this uh, always fine checks. So um, so he has to um, to to play this move, and I'm um, I'm back in the game because after this uh, I'm not losing anymore. And uh, and probably uh, he should he should accept that it's it's not winning anymore. He could he could play something like this. Um, and we could have a perpetual something like this. I think is is natural. Um, but instead, he tries to win with this move. Now it's black, and you have to calculate. And this is a part of, of course, uh, defending. Don't panic. Uh, don't panic. By the way, the the point behind this move, uh, which looks very smart. The thing is. Here, okay. If he does this, then uh, he has a problem. This move, and after something like this, he will actually lose his rook. Okay. The idea behind c5 is that if I take that, and then there is no check here because that's just hanging the queen. So that's the point. But Black has uh, other ideas, and one of them is this move, and that's a very nice move. And that's another golden. Try, whenever possible, to keep your coordination and the dynamic potential of your pieces uh, going. Very important. Just uh, play for maximum activity when, when you can, and uh, here, of course, you're threatening something. Uh, this is a serious threat. Uh, you could not play this before due to, to the pin, but now it's a threat. And uh, here uh, Lubomir completely loses the threat of the game. He could he could probably have, have drawn with, with, with this move, something like this, and rook d2. And, and probably something like this is, is, is a draw. But uh, it's, it should be a draw, but of course you would rather be black. In this situation, but it's it's probably at all. Um, have some chances to win. Uh, 
even though the material is equal. Instead, he plays this move, and um, and the idea is to 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 get out with the king and um, and so on. And this defends a lot of important squares on the way. And of course, there is also this move that often can lead to perpetual check. But I had this little nice move, and um, this introduces this uh, serious move again. And uh, here he can still draw probably with uh, queen h8. Uh, he didn't find that, and uh, that's typical when when people meet very serious defense like this, where I'm really focusing all my energy on getting those rooks to work together as as well as possible. We also see that it's very unpleasant for white that his, his king is, is struck here. He, he does have this pin, uh, uh, so, so this is not coming, which would often be mating him uh, in, in, in several ways. Here he played this move, uh, taking over this square, and uh, now it's lost because um, I have this move. Taking away the h, h square, taking away the pin from this. So I'm threatening this, which will lead to mate if it's uh, it's, if it's coming. So um, or material. Uh, and after this move, check. Uh -oh. And this move, very very nice move. I could of course take and, and play this, but this this is very nice. Uh, I'm threatening mate in one move, and he he totally panicked here. Uh, and after, uh, but I don't, there's of course nothing. And after this move, uh, he resigned. Um, if he moves his queen, I don't know where. Uh, I'm, I'm just uh, gonna maybe this move. And after this, this uh, is is winning everything. So uh, Lubomir resigned, and he was very he was not very happy after this game because he played so well for for a long time. And but I just hang in there with tough tough defense. And, uh, well, golden rules, keep coordination, don't lose, search for counterplay, don't let yourself be pushed too far back, and uh, look out for, for his uh, opportunities. And if necessary, if, uh, if you, to keep coordination, met, keeping coordination is often more important than material. Okay, this was DM Talks, and remember to tell your friends all about this channel so we can get some more subscribers. Thank you for watching.